Hmm. Yeah, this box will be Okay. This is um. This is the way these came. Uh, these came from Bob Prosser in Turtle Lake, Wisconsin, who was all over the globe, mostly in the European. And he was in the Second World War, and he came back. He went back to Europe and bought thousands and thousands of phones. I think these so-called Oslo phones, there may be a, a more uh, sophisticated name for this phone, uh, came much later because these, I believe, are 1953. And they probably were taken out in the late 60s and replaced by a more modern looking phone. As you look at these phones on the table here, and the picture of it and as they are here. And this is the way that they were, you know, probably, you know, through the years, mildew or whatever you call it. Um, and why, how they ended up in this original box, I'm not sure. Because if they were replaced, they were replaced by a more modern looking phone, not, not this thing. And what, what, how, why did they keep the original boxes? I don't know. I don't remember any of them looking like new. This one uh, is just simply a mildew. I, I don't remember it not being in the box, but I, we have a lot of these. Um, so, as you'll notice on these, the dial on, is, this is normal. The dial on this one is backwards. The calendars in Oslo, Norway are the same way. I used to think these were from the 1940s because the style is 1940. The dial is more of a 1940s dial instead of a 1953, although there has a lot of laugh, laugh, uh, lap over in designs going from the 40s to the 50s. The Western Electric desk phones of the 40s lapped over into the 50s. I think it was 1952 or somewhere in there before the 500 set came out, which was the common phone that you saw in the 1960s with a rotary dial before they went to touchstone. These Oslo phones, I, you notice this is, some, this one was obviously made in Oslo, or used in Oslo at least, whereas this one would have been used in some other part of the country as well as these with the right pattern for the, the numbers. This one is like the calendars in Oslo. They're backwards too. They start with 31. If a certain month is starts ends in 31, they start in 31. This one, um, if, if I could open up one of these, I could show you that inside they come with the large brass bells like you see on a old crank wall phone. They're, they're kind of uh, anodized over the brass so that they don't have a tarnishing situation where it, it's in a climate that would lend itself to that. But imagine that. Here you have this box which says combination. That's in, now we're, I'm teaching you how to speak in Norwegian. Combination of wall and desk apparatus. And over there they use the word apparatus uh, meaning uh, telephone. <laughs> they use the word telephone but in, in where they label things like this. So it's a wall or desk uh, telephone. An electric bureau, we spell it different than what they have it on here. And so you have this um, symbol too. 
Um, Cats like them too. I wonder if the, this gray one has a... Uh, the gray cat. Oh, oh, it's gray. <laughs> Now there's there's your original bells that will be found in these if, if they haven't been robbed out of there because of the brass and that they're almost the same as what a, on a on an old crank wall phone uh, maybe these are two and a quarter are they Mary yeah and the ones on a wooden wall phone are two and a half <laughs> that's your capacitor there's your coil your ringer which is a straight line ringer, as we call them in the United States. They'll ring it on a private line. They're, they're, they're very well made. I mean, those are nice. Uh, um, they're protected uh, contacts. Yep, yeah, they're actually a good phone. And like you see, you can hang it on the wall and hang your handset. Now, most of the ones we have have these cloth cords, which again symbolizes an older age than the 1950s. And, and see, it'll hang on the wall, or it'll sit on the desk. So, aren't they convenient? Now, if you're Norwegian, this will be just the thing for you. Um, here, here, there's the colors. Uh, we we can pinstripe them. Here are the colors. Uh, and they didn't make many uh, of uh, colors other than black. Black, and that's the way it was back in the 40s and 30s, too. The, your phones were black. Uh, one of the things that distinguished this phone and the years in which they were made is that the plastic, as you can see, is a softer plastic than what you had in the 40s or 30s. Uh, the Western Electric uh, uh, plastic phones were not quite this they didn't lend themselves to quite this much brilliance all the time. But it's very similar, very similar. The gray ones aren't very common, but more common than the ivory. The ivory ones uh, in any make of phone, Western Electric, Kellogg, they're, they're very thought of as a, quite a premium. And this one is very uh, unique in that it's got a cloth coiled handset cord. They're very good to talk and listen over. Have you had any problems with these, Mary? People sending them back? No. With the complaints? No. We've had very good success with these. Um, we pinstripe this in our plant. As far as the history goes, we only know from what we've been told by people that we felt were in the know about these, and that's that they were made in the early 50s, like 1953. And uh, that's all. Uh, there isn't any more mystery uh, than that. I take it these little plugs here are because they fill in a hole that had a little light bulb maybe here and a little press button switch for some reason here. <laughs> Mary, look at here. Mary. And so, <laughs> she wants to steal the show. And she is a good one for pictures. But you can use these like any other phone. They plug in, and you talk and listen like any other phone, and so on. Uh, uh, they do look like something out of the 1940s, however. Even the handset is shaped like a, an, an earlier phone, typically. So, uh, but if you're Norwegian... Well, our prices would probably be, um, I don't know, what are they in the catalog, 175 or 100 and a quarter or something like 100? I don't know, but I, wish I would think you'd know. It would be large quantities. As is. As, as, as more like this, but you won't find any many as dirty as this. They're usually, uh, they're not as, we have cleaned these up. They're easy to clean up. One, they're 20. easy to clean up. Huh? 129. 129. When you pinstripe to 130. And the, That's the one. 130 a pinstripe? 139 pinstripe. 139 pinstripe. A dealer can, in our catalog, we have them at 99. 129, uh, not pinstripe. 
95 for dealer quantity. They're $39 as is, like you see here. And uh, the, the box would be an additional $2. Large quantities last. We have multiple other foreign phones. We have a number of other foreign phones that came from when Bob Prosser was bought out back in the 1980. Hauled uh, quite a few hundreds of them down here, and inclu including the, ice, the Eiffel Tower phone that, that was made in Sweden, originally made in Stockholm, Sweden, by Ellen Erickson in 1892, all the way up to 1932 is when they quit making them. So this catalog is uh, free. Website. Um, the website is www.phonecoinc.com. P H O N E C O I N C dot com. Phoneco.com. Is that what it with the I Norwegian phone? I don't know what else to say about them. Okay. Look at the metal. Nice metal, metal. bottom here. And this symbol, I always thought this was the symbol for Electric Bureau. But uh, there's some of your nomenclature. A lot of times you see this number here it indicates when it's made, but I'm, I've am i always thought these were 1953. Uh, this is our FCC um, refurbishers license with the Federal Communication Commission. electric capsule for the transmitter. They're good cap transmitters. It's kind of spring-loaded so you've got a... Uh, Hard to do with a cat in your lap. Huh? <laughs> but we refurbish phones too. But, uh, capsule cap and there we are. I don't hate to start with this thing too. There's the capsule for the receiver, and that's stayed right in there. <laughs> that was simple. Things Very went right. There you are. Decorative. Um, Got a nice sound to the dial too, doesn't it? But, yeah, you sure don't hear that anymore. No, but the ivory ones are very attractive and would look nice in any setting where you favor woodwork and blends in with your color, your wood and so on. And this is thermoplastic. This is not Bakelite, huh? Uh, not Bakelite. I don't believe. Uh, I think plastic you can tell because it burns a hole right in it where Bakelite doesn't it. You get something hot huh. and poke right in. They call the 300 set thermoplastic. Uh, this is probably the same thing. But made in Norway. Made in Norway. Uh -huh. Used in Oslo and all other cities. Mid 1950s, in the, 1950s probably. 50s, and the ones made in, and uh, ones used in Oslo had this backward style. Mm -hmm. Most of them will have that, because Oslo is a big city. Yeah. Stickers, and the one is the nicest one. You, if you dial out with this, this Oslo number pattern. You have to keep in mind which numbers you're dialing because if you if you think you're dialing a, a seven, you're wrong because <laughs> you won't get the part of your calling if it's got a seven in the number. It'll just uh, it'll just pulse three. Yeah. Five is in the correct place. Five is in the correct place. Yeah. Yeah. Zero is. <laughs> Zero is. We have stickers. We have stickers to go on these if you um you have any of these but. If you have, if you're, if you're from Norway or you have Norwegian relatives, and you want to give them something for Christmas, this would be their, their birthday. Um, you run out of things, and rather than go to Walmart, here's a good choice because this is something different for the Norwegian uh, descendant, your Norwegian cousin.